All right, Brian, Kate, it's, uh, it's a beautiful day out today. And um, so let me ask you <laughs> this. When did you guys first meet? Um, well, Kate would answer church. Yes. She would say a simple answer like that. But tell you the truth, I don't really know. The first, our first couple memories, I remember, I remember seeing Kate at her old house. Um, it wasn't even a house, it was like an apartment at a birthday party. It might have been like Eugene's birthday party or something. Okay. And she was there with Luda and they were walking around asking all the kids what pop meant. Like, you know what pop is? And like, and we'd all pop answer. Pop music. And, yeah, popular music. But they would ask what cousin. pop. Yeah. Okay. And um, we were like, I don't know, like, I was probably like 12. I was, was 10. 10. We were really when young. We so met, it's yeah. hard to exactly pinpoint like the first time we saw each other, but we kind of like. But I knew. We were always yeah. around yeah. each other <laughs> when we were young. No, so I did actually, but that's, that's if there's another question. Yeah. Okay. Um, but you knew at 10 years old that Kate was the one for you. Like it's, there's the spark. It's a, little, You're like, it's a little more complicated than that, but. At ten, like when I was ten, when when I, when I saw her, like there was definitely something special. Like no matter like where I went after that in life, um, or where I was, I would always have this reoccurring feeling for her, um, even though she shot it down like multiple times. So when did this all spark up? When was this um, like first moment where you're like, okay, this is gonna happen? Kate and I are gonna be a thing. Well, for me, we were at a birthday party. She was 10, she was 12, and um, birthday party, and it wasn't anything crazy, Christian birthday party, don't worry. Um, and uh, basically, we were sitting around and they were playing Truth or Dare, and they asked her truth. Christian Truth or Dare? Yes, Christian Truth or Dare. Uh, th and uh, they asked her truth, and they said out of the whole party, and there was all boys, basically, there was only, she was like the only girl. And they That's said out of- That's not true. That is true. How do you remember that? I think maybe Tanya was there, maybe. I don't know other than that, but like out of all the boys she asked, the girl who was asking, she said out of all the boys, who would, who do you like the most or something like that? And she said, Brian. So I was like, I don't mm. remember this, but. And then <laughs> right does, after so. that birthday party, I came up to her outside and I was like, I like you too. We should date. And she said, you're too young. <laughs> and that was the end of that. <laughs> Kate shut you down at 12 years old? Bro. Yeah. Well, 10 years old when I was 10. So. Let's uh, move past that. Let's move past those four or five years, or was it six years, where Kate said yes to you? When, when she finally said yes? Well, it kind of was a process of, it wasn't, it was, like at first it wasn't too great because it was an on and on liking her and off. And uh, you know, every time she would shoot me down or she would find out that I like her, and then I would, I would get an because I was pretty good with finding things out. I'd find out that she doesn't like me back, so then I would constantly like, back out of that so when I got to a point where I was like you know like I can't do this to myself keep doing this to myself so I don't like I'm just gonna move on try to move on or whatever and that was the moment we started <clears throat> having ministry together we did kids worship together for a whole year and um, it was me Kate and Julie and we did ministry together and it was fine we became really close friends all the three of us and then me and Kate started going downstairs in the basement of the church and we would practice songs together to sing upstairs and then one day she was like, she was sitting there and she was like, what if God put someone in my life this whole time and I missed it? And that's when I knew. Like those blinkers went off and right away I was like, I'm thinking the same thing. <laughs> so yeah, so that's the story of that. And then it kind of moved forward from there. And uh, So Kate, yeah. where were you thinking in that moment when you asked him? Well, besides like what Brian said. I don't know, it was just so, like he said, like I kept turning him down when we were, well, first of all, we were so young, like, you know. Yeah, but, let me ask him that question. What if um, uh, God put someone in front of me and I missed it all this time? It's just like, uh, so we got to do ministry together and uh, I just kind of, I really got to know him. And a lot of people, like my friends, they would say, you know, you and Brian, like I could see that happening. And I was kind of like, no, like he's, so much younger than me. I wanted some older guy. And uh, and then one day I'm just like, you know, well, he has so many qualities that I like in a guy, so why not just kind of give this a shot? So I kind of just prayed about it. I was like, you know what? Like, what if God really did put someone in my life and all I have to do is just open my eyes and take the chance? Funny story about that. The whole time, she would always tell me how she wants someone who can sing 
play volleyball, and there was some other feature. Snowboard. Or blonde, snowboard, all these things. And I was like fitting all those categories, but she just wouldn't give me that chance. So I'm kind of glad you brought that up though. You were talking about the qualities. What, yeah. what other qualities did you find in Brian that were like, wow, this guy. <laughs> um, <laughs> Magic. Well, <laughs> I mean, I got to know him better throughout time, but at first, the qualities that I liked, I really liked um, how he was so passionate about being a missionary. And that's like something that you don't really find in 16 year olds or it's like, it's rare. So I was just like, okay, well, if this guy, you know, wants to serve God at such a young age, then I don't know. I just, I, I like that. I like the devotion he had and he's just naturally a very passionate person. So it was really important for me to find someone that, you know, truly loved God. So, yeah. so what kind of values though are very important to the both of you? Um, in each other, I guess, values, like something that you might have agreed on, you know. Um. It's, it can, for me, it comes down to like the heart because like the fact that she, is so, she was so God-centered her whole life was very important to me. Um, I didn't really understand it a lot as when I was younger. I just kind of, I was like, damn, she's beautiful. You know, and the way she like she had this look in her eye whenever she would talk to somebody, some guy or something that like I was like, wow, she like her personality or anything like she was just like, wow. But things that mattered later down the line were definitely like her good heart. And, you know, she's shared concerns with me about marriage and all this stuff and how, you know, she's like, you know, I don't really like cooking or all this stuff. I'm not really like I'm not really like housewife type. But I remind her every time that it's it's all about it's all about the heart. like. You know, because even through my, even through my like darkest times as a Christian, like she stuck through, and she always, she always would remind me of God, and always push me, to you know, to stay on the path and to further my walk with God, and that was definitely the most important thing because I know that things change, especially with me. Kate knows that I have phases like all the time, and my friends will laugh about that, but I literally like I'm on a new hype of something else all the time. I'm passionate, but I don't really stick through with things. But she's the one thing I stuck through, uh, that stuck through in my life, and uh, you know it, it, it's paid off. And that she she's just and he's not lying me. because Brian and I are good friends. You know we talk here and there, and uh, he always talks good about you, and he always talks about how you always been there for him. So um, that's yeah. something that's important. That's always been heavy on his heart. So I know that Brian's talking from a sincere heart right now. Um, how about you, Kate? Obviously, to have someone that I know would be able to lead me um, spiritually and not just spiritually but just like in everyday life um, also just someone that I could have fun with and like could trust and uh, someone that's loyal and faithful reliable. yeah reliable and um, not shallow so I fit that for you? Yes, you're right. not you're not I shallow. I think Brian exceeds all expectations. <laughs>